Okay, so we're going to start in mountain pose. Feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead. Just relax your arms at your sides. Make sure that everything is stacked. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders, reach the crown toward the ceiling. Begin breathing deeply and drawing your awareness inward to your yoga perspective. And just allow your breath to be full and deep. You can close your eyes and get that inner focus, your yoga perspective, and just be in your practice, in your body this morning, just the way you are. And a couple deep breaths, exhaling tension. Inhale, reach straight out to the sides. Lengthen up through the crown, out through the fingertips. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, elbows just a little bit back. Stretch forward, keep your shoulders down. And as you exhale, bring your hands behind you, clasp the fingertips together, lift your heart, stretch your head back, press your hands toward the floor, and then exhale and pivot over. And just allow your body to come into your forward bend and relax, letting that lower back begin stretching out for the morning. Kind of move your neck, chin around, get the release tension in that area. And then you can bend your knees a little bit, lift your ribs up, drop your sitting bones, tuck your chin in, and from the bottom of your spine, wind your way slowly up and lift your heart. Stretch your head back, keep the shoulders down, spread your toes out, no gripping, and just keep lengthening through your spine. And then inhaling, come upright, exhale, release your arms, and take a moment just to feel how things are. A little circulation, a little energy beginning to flow. Focus inward, and again, inhale, Arms reaching out. Exhale, hands to your chest. Stretch forward, keeping your shoulders down. And exhale, clasp your fingertips the opposite way. And again, stretch your heart up and your head back, getting that heart opening. On an exhalation, pivot over, bring those hands up toward your ceiling, toward the head. Relax, chin in toward your chest just a little bit. Keep breathing, deepen into that forward bend as much as you'd like. And again, when you're ready, inhaling, slowly work your way up. Just wind all the way to the top, feeling your bones as you go, and stretch your head back, lift your chest. Just opening the heart, Letting the whole spine get a little bit of extra energy. And again, inhaling, come upright and release. Mountain pose. Feel your body and allow yourself to notice how you're feeling. Inhaling, bring your arms out to the sides, palms toward the ceiling, arms over your shoulders, Clasp your hands and clasp them. Bring your arms back by your ears. And sitting bones down, crown high. Lean over to the side without twisting. So push the foot you're leaning away from down. Get a little extra stretch through the ribs, through the side. And the lateral stretch on your spine. Inhale back to the center. Switch your hands around. Other one in front. And again, shoulders down, crown high, lean to the opposite side. Reach out through your head and your hands as you press that foot extra deep into the floor and out through the top of your head. And again, inhale back upright, exhale, and back to mountain pose. And again, just take a moment feeling your spine. Forward bend, backward bend, side to side. So we'll do the twist next. So again, down into your feet, up through the crown. Keep stretching the spine open as you inhale your arms out to the sides. 
palms toward the ceiling, arms over your shoulders, clasp your elbows, bring the arms behind your ear. And again, sitting bones toward the floor, crown toward the ceiling, stretch your spine for the twist and exhale, twisting either direction. Keep your knees relaxed and stretch through the spine. And in your twist, go ahead and pivot over into your forward bend while you're twisted. And just feel what's different here. See if you can keep the weight on both feet and just relax. Take a couple breaths, letting things stretch gently. And then slowly work your way up, staying in your twist. Look toward the ceiling, lift your heart, pull those elbows back, get a nice upper body opening for your back bend in the upper body, not straining the lower back. And then inhale upright, exhale to the center, switch your arms around, and again, pull the shoulder blades, sitting bones toward the floor. Lengthen your spine, breathe in, and exhale to the other side. Take a moment and breathe. And as you exhale, come on over. And again, in your twist, just relax. Weight on both feet evenly as you deepen into that forward bend. Deep breaths, just relaxing. And again, keeping the weight on both feet, arms by your ears, slowly work your way up in the twist. And again, upper body for the back bend, lifting your heart, looking up, shoulders down, elbows way back. And when you're ready for an inhalation, come up, exhale to the center, bring your arms up, keep them by your ears. Push your sitting bones slightly back as you pivot at the hip joint. Bring your body till it's parallel to the floor or as close as you can get. And then exhale and drop down into ragdoll, just letting your arms hang in front. Breathing, sitting bones lifting. Let the back of your legs get a little stretch. You can lift the kneecaps, tighten your front of your thighs, and allow that hamstring maybe a little bit more relief. And then if you want a little more low back stretch, you can pull your hands behind your legs and tuck your chin and pull in, forehead toward your legs. And then release back to ragdoll. And again, with your knees bent, sitting bones down, roll all the way back up to standing in mountain pose. So as you're there, just take a moment and feel your body. Notice how the spine is a little bit more stimulated this morning, energy flowing through you. So I thought we'd just do a very basic warm up with the 80 year old yogini version of our lengthened warm up and just work all the parts of the body standing up this morning and see how that goes, and then maybe we'll expand to some alternative things as we get that finished. So arms at your sides, sitting bones down, crown high, and just gently move side to side in that windmilling routine. As you go from each side, keep looking in the direction your hands are going. And as things get a little bit more loose in your spine as you move into these twists, just go maybe a little further at each end of that circuit. So breathing, keep the crown reaching up. You can keep the knees just a little bent and the shoulders relaxed. And then coming back to the center, return to mountain pose. And we'll do our backstroke and swimming version. So arm by your ear, coming up and back. And then the other one coming around to the back. And just a few times getting that shoulder, getting a little bit of a workout. Letting your whole spine, whole body work and breathe. And just allow yourself to move through that whole range of motion gently and slowly. 
allowing the whole body to be working in the position. And then bring both arms up parallel to each other. We're going to stretch one side higher and come up on the opposite toes. So the side you're stretching, the foot stays flat, getting that rib area opening. And again, exhaling down, inhale and stretch the other side up again, up on that opposite toe. Exhale down, inhale and stretch. Exhale down. Inhale up, once more down and up, and releasing one last time, stretch high, and bring both feet down, both arms up, turn the palms out, down to your sides, pivot at the hip joint, come parallel to the floor, and again, drop into ragdoll and just hang. Take a moment there and breathe. Slide your hands up under your knees on your shin. And again, flatten and stretch in that halfway up position. Exhale and release all the way into ragdoll. Bring your arms out to the side. Straighten your back, again, parallel to the floor. And slowly pivot up, arms out to the side. They should stay at shoulder level. And then reach them overhead, palms together. And exhale to your heart. And release mountain pose. So again, feel your spine getting a little bit more energy moving through you. Keep breathing, focus inward. Step your feet together, bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond, hands above your knees, position do not support, so no pressure into your knees, and then just circling with your knees in a gentle circle around. So your ankles, knees, hips, lower back, everything is getting a little bit of work here. Let that just gently go through that motion. And then stop at the front and reverse direction, going the opposite way as much as your body would like through that range of motion. And again, just balancing, getting evenly on both sides. Once more, stop at the front. Keep the knees bent, keep the hands positioned. Take a spot either at the end of your mat or somewhere in front of you. And we're going to do a little balance. So come up onto the base of the toes with the heels lifted. And just feel what that's doing. Breathing, keeping your balance for a moment. And then roll back onto your heels with the toes lifted and up on your toes. So work your ankles, arches, toes through this circuiting back and forth across your foot, feet. And then release that and stand back up and into mountain pose. And separate your feet back to hip width apart for your mountain pose. So two options here, you can clasp your elbows behind you or you can fingertips together, push up into reverse prayer behind you, just to keep your shoulders even. We're gonna bend the knees again toward the toes and do circles with the hips, getting a little bit more range of motion through that lower back and body. So allow your breathing to deepen and just allow that whole body to make a good wide circle. And then stop at the front and go the other way. So again, reversing so that we balance the body, getting evenly worked out on both sides. And once more, as you release, stand back up into mountain pose. Take a moment just to feel grounded. 
connecting deep into the earth, up through the crown. We're gonna do a balance practice option. If you wanna use a chair just to be sure that you're comfortable with your balance, you can set that to the side. The side that your chair is on is going to be the side that you're going to be balanced on. You want the foot parallel to the chair so that the toes maybe feel like they're turning in a little bit, but in reality, that's rotating the whole leg into a better structural position. So your ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder all line up for your balance. You can keep your hand on the chair just barely, or you can keep it off the chair, your choice. And we're gonna just sink into the base of the toes and heel. You can lift the toes to make sure that you're not gripping them, and then spread them out as you put them down. Big toe connected, but the rest just allowed to spread out. Keep lifting the arch so that whole bottom of your foot is connected, especially through the outside of the foot. And again, Reach up, ribs in and up, getting that core activated for support, shoulders relaxed, and then bring that other foot up a little or more or pull it towards your chest. As you get up, if you're comfortable there, either holding on or not, circle your ankle. And then reverse and circle it the other way. And then flex and point a couple of times and release. So feel the connection into the earth with both feet down and we need to balance again to the other side. So if you're using the chair, move it over and once again, align your foot with the side of the chair. Spread out through your toes Get the base of the toes all connected, lift the arch, sitting bones down, ribs in and up, shoulders relaxed, hand on the chair or not, your choice, and allow the crown to reach to the ceiling. When you're ready, sink into that grounded foot really well, get that whole bottom supporting you, and either just barely or a little bit more, or pull the knee in to your heart. And again, as you get into that upright position, circle the ankle. Even if your foot is down by the floor, circle your ankle. It doesn't matter where your leg is. We want to get those ankles working so we don't end up stiff, stiff ankled and falling when we get old. And again, flex and point a couple times. And release. So options, you can stay standing, or if you want to take a break, you can sit in the chair, just with your sitting bones down, but the back of your body not against the back of your chair. We're going to work the neck and shoulder area a little bit. So again, it's just going to be mountain pose for those of you standing up. So bring your chin into that little indentation at the base of your throat, jugular notch and let the back of your neck get a good stretch. Take a few breaths and relax. And then just bring your hand up and then the other hand up. Place the hand on the back of your head, but don't push with it. So you're just adding a little weight to the stretch on the back of your neck for a gentle release. Breathe deep, tension out. Let that area stretch gently. And then releasing your arms, bring them back down and tip your chin upright. Feel the back of your neck. We're gonna stretch the front of the throat next. So lift your chin toward the ceiling. As you look up, just relax through the back of your neck, through the throat, and then move your jaw around. Kind of chew with it. Move it side to side, circles. Push your jaw out forward and pull it back in. Get that whole face moving around. And then release your jaw back to neutral and tip your head back upright. 
Take a moment, get everything centered and connected down all the way into the earth. And we're going to tip an ear over to one side. So no twisting on this one, just up the side of your neck, get a good stretch. And then the side that you're tipping toward, again, hand comes up and just add the weight, not pressure, and let that side of your neck relax. Push your fingertips down, or if you want a little extra stretch on the side, heel of your palm down with the hand flat to the floor. So just stretch it as much or as little as your body needs and wants. And then release the arm that's hanging down. Bring the other hand back down. Tip your head back upright. Feel the difference on the two sides. And of course, we have to balance and do it the opposite way. So tip your ear on the other side over. And again, just take a moment and relax first. And then the hand that you're tipping toward, bring it up, add the weight, not pressure, getting a little stretch through the side of your neck. If you like that and you want more, fingertips go down, or even more, palm of the hand, heel pressing, heel of the hand pressing down. And again, relax that arm, bring the other hand back down, and tip your head up. Feel your neck. Notice how your body is responding. And then we're going to work the neck only into the twist. So keep your shoulders and your body facing forward. Stretch up through the spine. Exhale and turn your chin toward the side in the back of out of the driveway version of the stretch. And again, just breathe and relax. Maximize or minimize, don't go too far. Just let that neck relax in the twist. Keep the crown reaching up, sitting bones down, and exhale back to the center. Again, lengthen up, and as you exhale, chin toward the other side. And again, relaxing, keeping those shoulders even, whole body facing the front, just turning your neck. And again, crown high and exhale back to the center. Take a moment, feeling your body. And we're going to work the arms and shoulders a little bit. So bring your arms out to the sides, palms toward the ceiling, spread your fingers apart, keep reaching out through the fingertips and up through the crown, and make big circles going forward. So just keep reaching out and up. Keep those circles big for a while and then make them smaller. And then reach straight out to the sides and turn your palms down. And again, keep reaching out and up and circle backwards or the opposite way from whatever you did before. So nice big circles as you begin. And then smaller circles until you can just reach, reach, reach out. So keep your lower body exactly where it is and stretch the shoulder to one side. Get the ribs stretching on that opposite side. Back to the center and over to the other side. Breathe and stretch. Inhale back to the middle. Stretch it out a little bit more. And release. Feel your shoulders, lots of stimulation through them. Take a breath, just relax. And then step your feet a little wider, as wide as you like. It doesn't really matter. We're going to do one more twist. So put your thumbs in that hip crease at the top of your thigh and pivot forward with your body parallel to the floor. Reach both hands down toward the floor, right under your shoulder. If you can touch, that's fine. You don't have to touch. You can bring your hands to your shins, or if you have a block, you can use your block. So take a moment and breathe. Lengthen your spine. And we're gonna take the, keep the right hand on the floor 
and bring the left arm out to the side, looking at it. And then keep looking at it as you bring it up to the ceiling. So this is a twist. Make sure as you get into your twist that you are stretching the hips, sitting bones back, and the crown forward so that spine keeps opening for the twist. If you love the twist, you can take your right hand to your left shin and looking up at your hand, let it bring you a little further into the twist, pulling it toward the back. Keep lengthening your spine while you're doing that. And then bring the arm straight up and the other hand back to the middle if you've moved it. And follow that hand back to the side and down to the floor. Sitting bones back, crown forward. And again, twisting the opposite way, keep that spine open. Inhale the arm out to the side and up to the ceiling while watching it as it goes up. So your whole body is twisting, not just your head not just your arms. And again, stay there, or if you love twists, left hand to the right knee or shin, and arm moving further behind you into the twist. Keep the spine long and open. Keep breathing. Exhale and relax. And then bring the arm in the air straight up, the other hand to the floor. And again, looking at that hand in the air, bring it back down and to the mat or wherever. Bring your hands onto your shins or ankles and slowly pivot back to standing. And move into mountain pose. So take a moment there, feeling your body, relaxing into your mountain pose. Notice your spine, lots more stimulation. And bring your hands to your heart. So looking at your fingertips, inhale, bring them overhead, and just keep gazing toward your hands. So stay there, or if you'd like a back bend, lift your heart, pull your hands back, keep looking at your thumb. Keep the chest high, not a lot of pressure in your low back, so don't go too deep. And then exhaling, slowly bring your hands forward and down to your heart. Pivot on over into ragdoll. Take a moment there and breathe. Tuck in your chin, let your whole body relax. And then slide your hands up onto your shin. Flatten your back in that halfway up stretch. Exhale, bend your knees, and come all the way down onto your mat in child's pose. So just breathe, forehead toward the floor, arms along your sides, hips back onto your sitting bones, and or sitting bones back onto your heels, and relax. So just feel the connection to that surface beneath you. Deep breath. Tension out. And then inhale, sitting up. Slide off your heels. Bring your legs out in front into staff position. Spine aligned, heels pressing out, toes pulling back. And we're just going to roll onto our backs and into corpse position for our relaxation for the morning. So just situate into your position, relaxing. Feet about hip width apart, toes more or less straight up, maybe a little bit out toward the side. Hands, palms up so those shoulders can release down into the mat, into the floor. And relax your face and your jaw. Deep breath in. As you exhale, just sink into that surface beneath you, letting your whole body relax. And just focus on any part of your body that feels like it needs to be a little bit more relief. Take a breath into it. Hold it a moment in tense and tighten. And as you exhale, just let it go. 
soften your whole body, eyes closed, focusing inward, just allowing your breath to deepen, your body to sink into that surface beneath you even further, letting Mother Earth support you. And as you breathe, just deepen into that earthbound connection and let your body go. As your body relaxes, just release thoughts of your body from your mind. And as new thoughts come to your mind, just know that it's the job of your mind to produce the thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, there's no need to remember the past, no need to anticipate the future. Just let the content of your thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. As each new thought comes, breathe it out. Breathing in peace, releasing all the tension, softening and sinking deeper into that peace within. Peace filling your body, filling your mind, filling your being, just releasing into peace. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, press your back down into the mat, bend your knees, draw them up toward your heart, give yourself an appreciative hug for the yoga work your body has done today and the work it does for you every day. And when you've had enough hug and appreciation, roll over to the side, Use your hands for support and sit back up and come into a seated position, letting yourself get ready for the rest of the day. And thanks for joining me. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. And I'll see you Wednesday.